Welcome back to Power Slap Entertainment, where it's finals week, and leaving a like lets me know that you care more about watching my videos than my formal education. So as many of you know, I'm an English major, and as such, I know words, I have the best words, but sometimes people use words not so good. Literally, since I'm from California, I cannot have a conversation without the word literally being brought up. Hey, what's up? Why are you late? Well, my car literally stopped working. I was literally dead. I literally got shot 12 times in the chest and had to take an ambulance here. For those of you guys that don't know, the word literally means the textbook definition of something. So when people spam the word literally, they mean according to the dictionary. There was this one time where my sister was on the phone with me and she said something like, I literally just parked the car. And I responded back with, how do you figuratively park a car? Do you park it within the sea of your mind? What is this, some kind of meta consciousness car park? parking the car represents your mind and the, the parking lot represents your soul. And she responded back with, I literally cannot. And I was like, you can't what? And then we just stopped talking. I think the only acceptable time to use the word literally is to break a metaphor. For example, the other day I had a dream that I got really buff and I just started my first day of being a janitor. I walked up behind a depressed looking janitor. He was cleaning a giant mess and I glared at him intimidatingly and I said, I'm here to mop the floor with you. Literally. And then, <laughs> and then I helped him scrub the hell out of some floors. I also had another dream where my school bully and I are in a play together. We're sitting backstage and as the bully is going to go on stage, I look over him and I say, break a leg. And the bully responds back with, oh cool man, yeah I'm sorry about literally. And then some mafia men come out and break his leg. Feel free to use either of those if you're ever in a play or if college doesn't work out for you. Speaking of college, a lot of people spell the word college wrong. I think that's kind of weird seeing as you spend like 12 plus years studying for it or at least thinking about it. This one time when I was on Facebook, I noticed one of my friends from middle school posted something like, just got accepted into one of the most prestigious collages in the nation. And I responded back with, is it a pretty collage? And she typed, yeah, it's great, with the number eight. And I said, well, I'm sure you'll fit right in. I don't think she got the collage joke. Honestly though, if you misspell the word college in a personal statement, you should be banned from every college ever and have no shot at redemption. You can't even argue that the keys are too close together on a keyboard because they're not. I think this error is caused by people relying too heavily on spell check. Speaking of over-reliance on spell check, the word definitely is definitely spelled wrong on the internet. Hey bro, do you want to go to my cousin's party with me? Defiantly. Look, if you don't want to go, you don't have to go. Nah man, I defiantly want to go. Alright man, I'm not trying to force you into this. If you don't want to come, just let me know. So, are you coming? Yeah. Defiantly. Whatever then, I'll come pick you up. Where are you at? I'm at Collage, bro. I do not like you. I hope somebody figuratively burns down your house, where the burning represents fire, and the house represents your house. Feel free to passively- <laughs> Feel free to passive aggressively share this video with a friend who uses these words incorrectly or to someone who likes making fun of people that do so. As always, liking the video is a great way to support the channel. Yeah, bleh, bleh.